In the big cities, firefighters get paid to be on standby for emergencies. They can be on the scene and ready to fight fires in a flash. In Meigs County, it's a different story. Rescue workers at the Racine Volunteer Fire Department have jobs on top of volunteering. They cannot be there as quickly, but they do their best. When every moment counts, it can be a challenge. The volunteer firefighters meet at the station or drive to the scene with their equipment and their vehicles. Let's touch base with volunteer firefighter and paramedic Kevin Turley. He has been climbing the ladder for more than 30 years. Kevin shared what sparked his passion for firefighting. I like to help people uh, and basically watched a movie before and that's kind of what made me want to do it. That's right, his career path changed just by watching the movie The Towering Inferno. Getting into firefighting was a different experience for Southern High School junior Corey Seth. I had three really close friends on this department and they encouraged me to get on it. After jumping in, Corey's desire to help others started to heat up. It's very physical, kind of keeps you moving, keeps you alert. It's kind of fun in certain ways, and it's just an enjoyable hobby to have. Since Corey is still a student, the rules are a little different for him to continue working with the department. How do you manage the schedule of being in school and being a volunteer? As a junior still, if you're still in school, you do not have to make a certain amount of calls to stay on the department. If you are out of school, you have to make so many runs per year to stay on the department. But while you're in school, you don't have to make many, so if you can't make it because of something with school, it doesn't get hold against you for anything. When the alarms sound for a fire, it's all hands on deck to put out the flames and save lives. All volunteer firefighters are crucial to small communities, as they are the ones who prevent flashes of devastation. If they were not here, it would be a sad situation. It would be a lot of, probably a lot of deaths and property loss. It would be very, very rough because there is, no, the closest paid department around here is Athens. Every of the 13 stations in Mixed County are all volunteer. If you had no volunteer in here, then nobody's house would never be saved. Being on the front lines of danger can be very rewarding and mentally draining. Corey recalls one emergency that will be forever etched in his mind. Memorable call would have been in 2021 when two structures in Syracuse were on fire and me and another unit went inside to go put some flames out of a basement when part of the frame of the house fell down and hit both of us and just caused a bunch of burning on us. As volunteer firefighters continue their amazing work, it's getting a little easier to equip themselves for what's ahead. Do you think volunteer fire departments have a bright future? I think so. If the funding's there. Yes, as much as they're starting to go uphill very rapidly now. Like grants from the states are giving us more money to get more equipment to keep people going and more people are joining and it just keeps going up. It's not looking down in any way. So next time you see a volunteer firefighter, Please take a moment to say thank you.